Hey everyone, Chef Ryan here from Growing Chefs Ontario, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a super fluffy omelet using farm fresh eggs. Now I know what you're probably thinking, an omelet, I've made that tons of times before, but have you ever made a super fluffy omelet? The equipment you'll need for this recipe is a set of mixing bowls, a whisk or a hand mixer, a spatula, a small nonstick skillet, a cheese grater, a knife and a cutting board with a damp towel, and a serving plate. You will need two large eggs, one tablespoon of butter, a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and a small bunch of chives. This recipe is all about technique. I'm going to start by cracking two large eggs and separating the yolks from the whites. I've seen lots of tips and tricks on how to do this, but honestly, the easiest way is to just hold the egg in your hand and let the white slip through your fingers. The reason I'm separating my yolks from my whites is because I'm going to beat air into the whites and this will give us our super fluffy texture. It's a similar process to making whipped cream. Once I have my yolk separated from my whites, I'm going to take my whisk and just start beating air into it. I've whipped my whites for about three minutes now and you can see uh, they're nice and stiff. They have a bit of a glossy sheen to them and they almost hold a peak when I lift the whisk out of the bowl. Now that my whites are nice and stiff, I'm going to take a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper and add them to my yolks and a little bit of salt and mix it together. While I'm doing this, I have my pan on a medium heat getting ready for our omelet. So now I'm going to marry the yolks back into the whites. While I'm doing this, I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter to my pan to start melting. As you're folding your yolks into the whites, you want to be nice and gentle because you don't want to lose any of that air that you beat into the whites. See that there? My butter is nice and frothy and my yolks are just fully incorporated into my whites. I'm now going to add them to my pan. So I'll give my butter a little swirl in the pan and then gently pour in my eggs. You'll want to have a lid for your pan. This is going to help speed along the cooking process. Take your spatula and smooth out the top of your omelet. You can see it sort of looks like a little cloud in the pan. And then I'm just going to put my lid on it and let that cook for about three minutes. You can see around the edges they've started to set. I'm now going to sprinkle a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like, whether that be Asiago or Parmesan or any other firm cheese. After I sprinkle the cheese on top, I'm going to use some fresh chives. And again, you can use whatever herb you like. The nice thing about this recipe is that it can be used in a sweet or savory application. So instead of cheese, you could think about adding some maple syrup to it. I'm going to return the lid back to my pan and let the cheese melt. Now that my cheese is melted, I'm ready to serve my omelet. So I'll take off my lid. You can see how fluffy it is. The eggs cooked all the way through and I'll slide it out onto my plate. Now traditionally omelets are folded over. so. With the fluffy omelet, it might be a bit tricky, um, but you can just give it a little fold. And there it is, our super fluffy omelet, like a little cloud with cheese and chives. <laughs> 